The super secret project that Valve has been working on for the past few years has been leaked already. The title doesn't lie, I don't lie in this video, at least to my knowledge. And today I'm going to present you every single bit of information that we gathered from the random Reddit post that happened a few hours ago. Hello everyone and welcome! First official deadlocked video, I'm very excited. I, as a Team Fortress 2 player and Overwatch 2 player, blah blah blah, I don't need to give any more background than that. You're only interested in the deadlocked leak. So let's get right into it. So first of all, as I mentioned, the leaked happened and has been posted to the Steam subreddit on the website Reddit. And from the video, we can see a short gameplay section from what looks like a tutorial part. And you are playing as the fat battler robot with a very bouncy head. So from this part of the video, what you can actually tell is the very anticipated zipline section or whatever kind of mechanic that has been teased already by Tyler McVicker and all the previous previous leaks that had been happening a while ago. And honestly, everything that you see on screen will most likely be changed when the full game releases. Every single piece of the HUD, every single piece of the visuals you will see, it will probably be more polished, will be more refined when the game releases. Because as of right now, even the player model that is seen in the video doesn't look finished. It's a rough sketch in my opinion, but the idea and the model itself is already there. So there's something to get excited about which is nice. Later on we are presented with something that is very much interesting which is the character selection screen and boy oh boy every single anticipation and every single hope has been fulfilled for the players because this looks like a character based shooter and not only that it's a Valve characters based shooter and from the previous experience what we have been shown on the Steam market we had Steam Fortress 2 a total banger of a game Dota 2 a total not banger but some people like it and you have to respect that and from what it looks like some characters are more into that Dota vibe more than Team Fortress. So although there is this one guy that heavily reminds me of this one singular character, but I cannot just point out straight to who. Starting with this weird little vampire creature with an SMG Ivy, we have a bad combination with a war guy. I don't know what it is, but it looks nice. Every single character already looks like it has a certain theme to it. You can easily distinguish every single character from each other, and especially some characters that have a very very wide forehead that you will see in a moment. But other than that, you are clearly presented with this idea of every single character having their unique attributes, similar to Dota. And honestly, I'd say that this game looks so far most similar to Dota, not any other IP like Team Fortress 2, but hopefully there will be some TF2 mechanics in there and maybe perhaps some Overwatch 2 elements, including some Overwatch ults and all of that kind of stuff. I cannot explain much about the characters because there has been only gameplay shown of this fat butler guy with the bouncy head and he has a pistol and a combat role, so there is no gameplay shown from these characters, but as you can see, for a very early project, this already looks like a quite wide roster of playable characters. It might go the Overwatch way, where more characters will be added along the way, similarly to League, similarly to Dota, but who knows, maybe this is the ultimate roster that will stay inside the game for the rest of its lifespan and will be built upon like in Team Fortress 2. Who knows? Later on, we have Infernus, who looks like a Phoenix from Valorant, but also doesn't. He has a cool spy hat from TF2 and overall it looks like a fire-based agent slick James Bond kind of style that will be all about fire. And as you can see on the left side, under the name of the character there's also a little description and there's also a little ability screen section where you can see all the abilities are assigned to the numbers 1, 2, 3 and 4. I have no idea if they will be available under 1, 2, 3 or 4 or will they be like Overwatch abilities under EQ or XZ, whatever. But if they are under 1, 2, 3 and 4, this will most likely be just like in Team Fortress 2's case, where you can choose between different weapons, but instead of weapons, you have different abilities that do stuff. Who knows? Next up is Haze, which looks like a sniper character or fast-moving character. Once again, some abilities, some kunai, some running, some eyesight and some something. I will not give much of an insight, I'm just showcasing what has been shown in the leaks so you can have a grasp over what Deadlock will be about, what this game will look like and what the characters are like. We've also been shown this Hanzo guy, great talent, very original name, but so far this in my opinion is presenting quite well what the visual effects or the visual art style of the game will look like. You see this sci-fi mixed with traditional martial arts where as I said already it's mixed with Hanzo and 
it's super advanced technology with all the green particles happening left and right. I don't know if I like this style or not personally. Tell me down in the comments what do you guys think about it. But as I said, everything that is visual or presented right now in the game will probably not be the same on launch. So take everything that is shown on the screen with a grain of salt and just remember that this is still in a very early stages of development footage. So don't be already harsh on the art style. Don't just hate on it straight away. I mean, you can hate on it, I don't mind. Sadly, the leaked footage doesn't show the characters on the far left, but if you zoom in and go to that bottom left section of the character selection screen, you can see this butler that has been seen in the beginning part of this video, which was that bouncy head robot who that had that combat role. There's also this scrappy, rusty looking like robot. I have no idea who this guy might be, but I already vibe with the character design. And on the far left, we have a Dr. Mundo with horns. But next up on the big screen, we have Kevin that has a very big assault rifle and a very big backpack. It's once again this weird mix of sci-fi weapons and something traditional, like you have this bear fur, everything on him, you have like this magical stone on his back, like similarly to Rise having this script, he has some kind of a wooden, maybe rocky foundation on his back, I have no idea why. Next up is Lady Guys, who has this green hand and the revolver, so a very small revolver compared to the previous guys. Also for a split second, there's not much attention to that guy but you can barely see this kind of weird zombie like robot mixed creature called seven this guy of course has yet another weird weapon that is combined with world war ii elements and some electric boogaloo crap with the chains around his legs it might look like a prison skp and with the time bomb attached to his face i mean the neck and with a time bomb attached to his chest, I think this will be a very interesting character. And looking at all of those characters, they clearly tell a story, which is super amazing. Everything that is outside the game and everything that you can just dig in, not only by playing the game, is fantastic for me at least. Maybe not for all the players, but this guy looks very interesting and that's what is very important. Once again, going back to the silhouettes, the hat, the like plate and the little antenna, antenna, antennas? antennas that are on his head are really selling this characteristic silhouette and the big shoulder pads also add up to that. Next is a floating lady with a sniper rifle, I really don't know what to say about that. It's a wild mix between Elsa and the Quickscoper from 2016. Next up is the very warm welcome to all the Team Fortress 2 fanboys with the character that looks similarly to Soldier but not quite. He is very evidently a policeman of this universe, you can see the baton on his belt, you can see a very big gun on his shoulder and you can see a very characteristic British-esque helmet on his forehead. Once again, selling that silhouette thing that I was talking about. This is almost the last character that we're going to talk about, Rafe, which looks like a mafia-esque woman with that Tommy gun that once again looks like a mix between World War II weapons and something straight out of sci-fi uniform that is hanging from the second shoulder set. And as you can see, yes, this woman has an additional shoulder that is holding some cards or cigarette packets. I have no idea why, but the character for sure looks very interesting. And lastly, we have Yamato, a very popular League streamer which has been implemented to the game one to one. I cannot see a single difference. We're going to pause right here and just once again emphasize the silhouettes. Every single character looks differently from each other, which is great, not only with the color palette, but also with the character design, with how big some parts of the bodies are, with how big the hat is of that character, and maybe their speciality like particle effect being a different color from each other. And yeah, I think that that's about all the leaks that I had my hands on prepared for today's video. If you guys enjoyed and are interested in more Deadlock leaks, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel because I will be more than happy to cover every single bit of information that is coming out about this game. I am very interested in it. And one more thing that I'd like to highlight is that it looks like this game will not be like the newest CODs. It looks like it will not be very heavy on your computer, which is also phenomenal. So I really hope Valve will keep in mind mind their player base and the fact that CSGO community is still playing on potatoes or toasters. Thanks for watching, have a lovely day, bye bye.